Welcome into the weekend retreat, all my family and friends. I'm your hostess, Lazy Retired Granny. Today is Sunday, the 6th of October, 2024. The time is 6.56 a.m. Here in Waiting for Sunrise, Salem, Oregon. And I think it's supposed to be like 70 today. <coughs> Hey, gran uh, hey, Granny. Oh, brother. Hey, Google. What's the current temperature? The current temperature in Salem is 43 degrees. Ooh, 43. That's a little cool. Hey, Google. What's the high temperature today? The high temperature today in Salem will be 76 degrees. Ooh, 76. We're going to go up like 43 degrees. <laughs> Okay, so beside me I have my hot caffeinated breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer in my awesome mug. Um, she's on fire in her YouTube channel, Crafting with B. And as always, we're going to pick out some wax melt from my diamond daughter, Rebecca. Okay, let's see what we got in the box today. Let's do this one again. I like this one. There we go. And this is the candy corn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do the second part of it. And it does look like a corn on the cob, doesn't it? <laughs> mm, it smells good. Yesterday scent. Oh my gosh, it smelled so good in here all day. Um, what was the name of that? Oh, that was the um, this one here. Oh my gosh, yeah, mm -hmm. that smelled good. So, as you can see, I have a new canvas in front of me. This is one that I did a product review on from New Craft Day back in July. <laughs> so, and let me show you. I finished my monthly canvas, the Tiny Fun. It's sparkly. Yeah, turned out nice. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. Actually, let's see. Let's get down here. Yep. Okay. All right, let's bring this one back. Now, I did take the cover off of it because on these smaller ones, I work on one color for the whole space. I know. I'm crazy, but you know, that's how I roll. I was up late last night. I went to bed about nine or so, and I was going to read my, I'm on book four of the uh, um, Snickerdoodles books. And I don't know, I just was, I guess I made myself so tired. I was, uh, okay, so I am continuing to watch uh, Downton Abbey. And let me figure out what color I want to do. Do I want to start with B? You know what, I need to turn on my light. There we go. Shed some light on the subject. Okay. Usually I start with the first color and I just work my way down. Okay. So we got quite a few B's. So I think that's what I'll do. We'll start with color one. Don't have a lot of 310s in this. Hey, Ellie. Did you eat your breakfast, girl? Oh, let me see. What did I do with stuff? 
I am, um, I got things piled up all over the place here. There we go. All right, so color one is 154, very dark grape. And as you can see, I have long sleeves today. Yeah, I am transitioning from my house dress that I wear during the day to sweats and a sweatshirt. Now, will I stay in my sweatshirt? Probably not because it is going to be rather warm. So I may have to change the top. Uh, okay, what was I saying? I can't remember. So this, anyway, oh, I know what I was talking about. Um, so my subscription for the Amazon reading thing, I got it free for three months and it cancels today. So I know that they will let me have another three months for free. <laughs> so um, as soon as that's offered again, which Prime Days are coming, so maybe they'll have some good deals there. Yeah, and then I'll continue on <laughs> with reading it. <laughs> Because it's all about saving money. <laughs> yeah, this time um, in that Adventures, um, it's about this overpowering woman who... Um, I mean, you know that something's going to happen to her. And so I'm not that far into it yet. I keep falling asleep at night. But I am, I was watching Downton Abbey and I'm on season three. I can't remember how many seasons there are there are in that and then I also have I bought the movie so yeah so once I get through this then I'll watch the movie So anyway, I slept in this morning till about a quarter to five, which reminds me, did my watch get charged all the way? Yep, I can put it back on. Now, even though I did, you know, I mean, I got a decent amount of sleep, but my watch told me that um, I was a light sleeper last night and I didn't get a really good score. So it just said good. So I don't know what was up with that. I felt rested when I got up. But... Anyway, so I got my shower in this morning. Got a load of laundry going. I haven't done laundry in about a week and a half, so I need to get that going. And I'm going to change the bedding today. And Allie and I are going to go on a couple walks. We went on a couple walks yesterday.
um, yeah, so she got to sniff around and walk, and she likes that. So this morning we're going to go do that. Well, it's still cool outside. And then I'll get on my walker. Watch TV while I'm walking. Now I only walk like five minutes at a time just because my ankle's been bothering me a little bit, so I don't want to be in pain and agony, so. Oh, so yesterday I was trying to make some executive decisions. What do I want to lay down drills on next? And for my weekend retreat, and I have the ferry. That's, that's coming up next. I'm doing the ferry after Granny's done here. And I have those two canvases from Senator. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Christmas scene. Yeah, I definitely want to see. I am really curious how that's going to turn out. Because when I looked at it yesterday, because I hang them up beside me. And so, you know, when I unbox something, I'm seeing it for the first time. When I unbox it, I don't, I don't unbox something, look at it, and then do an unboxing. No, nope. you get my initial impression. And on that one, I did not, I had forgotten, you know, what, it was all about and it's a kind of canvas that you may not see stuff on it until you lay down the drills which I really like those kinds of canvases not mystery just you kind of know what it's gonna be but just watching it pop and sizzle and all that stuff oh yeah so, I was really looking at it yesterday when I was hanging it up. And it's like, oh, I really hope that train turns out. So, yeah, I am really anxious to get the drills down on that. Now, that will be, that will be going into our village. So, I will be doing that as soon as I complete she shed so we are going to have a train in our village or another train because I think a couple other people were going to do trains but this canvas is the church now somebody oh my goodness who was it had a brilliant imagination on this and I'm gonna steal it you know who you are even though I can't remember who it was I should have wrote it down Ugh. if I don't write it down I forget it but it's got the beautiful scene snow um, a tree I think that has lights on it the horse-drawn carriages church 
a train in the background, which you really can't see on the canvas. So, but I think it is going to come alive. And it does have a bees in it. So, yeah, I am, oh, I am really itching to get some drills down on that. So, I do have that one. That'll be after she shed. If you want to join me, you can get that canvas. Or, just another one that you want to do. But that's what I'm going to be doing. And then, I'm also adding the other one that uh, they sent me. And that... Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. Is the uh, granny one. Yeah, I need to do that one. So... Uh, that will be for my weekend retreat. My big canvas for the weekend retreat. Because I have my smaller ones. Uh, my monthly. And then the one for... This is also for um, Outrageous Orange. For um, Tita's... Facebook group. That's the theme of the month. Outrageous Orange. Hey, Ellie. What? Did you eat your breakfast? Huh? So, I, I can't remember what November's is, but uh, I'll have to ask her. And I'll have to pick something out. But with that said, I do have the um, holiday ones that I got from Walmart and whatnot. So I'm sure it'll be something that I can do. It'll probably be holiday themed or, you know, something. I don't know. I don't know what she's got planned. But I'm sure I got something right here. Right at my fingertips. So, so yeah. Um, November and December, I have big plans. <laughs> And because it, we're getting into the cooler time of year here, anyway, we're going to try and get some tea times in. And my original plan for tea time... was to do my granny ones. We'll see how that goes because I have limited space on where I diamond paint and sometimes it's a little hard to, you know, pick up a big canvas, move it, bring out the little one. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So we'll see how that goes. And tea time with Granny is very sporadic. You never know when it's going to happen. So, tea time with Granny, I do not go into emails or comments or anything. It's just, um, I need you guys to send me topics you want me to talk about, questions, uh, that type of thing, and then... You can put them in the comments down below. Just say, tea time topics. And then I will write them down and then I'll jibber jabber about them. How about that? 
And if you don't send me anything to jibber jabber about, then I gotta make up some stuff. So. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll have my son come over and help me once again try to do lives. I get all flustered. Last time I was very flustered when he did a live thing, but I'm hoping that maybe to practice <laughs> and get everything straight we can just do a private just so we can get it set up I, I don't know if we can do that or not but I'm gonna see if you'll come over and help me with that and then we could have tea time with granny live Once I get that down, then maybe we can schedule a live. We'll see. These, those are just things that are kind of in the works. We will see. So anyway, so for November, December, oh, right now, she shed. I won't start any of these others until she shed is done. And I'm going to switch over to that. It's like an old fashioned Christmas scene. Monday through Thursday, and then the weekend retreat, I'll be doing my monthlies, and whatever the theme is for the month in Tita's Facebook group, and then that big grand, grand, granny um, campus. And then any little ones that I want to throw in there every once in a while. Yeah, I got to get organized and get all those out. And then <coughs> probably in December. We'll figure out what we want to do. I know people are busy during November and December, and so I'm not, but you know, other people are. I'm not a social butterfly, so. I don't have office parties to go to or any of that or have guests over for the holidays <laughs> and and actually um, um, the holidays here is I'm the you know because we live so close together um, my theme song for December is Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, uh, walking home from, you know, the 
grandkids' house to her own house. <laughs> I know, you're trying to visualize that. <laughs> Yep, I handed over the holiday duties to somebody else, so. Although I really, really miss all the food. <laughs> all right, let's get to some emails. Uh. And actually, I was going to check because did I answer emails yesterday? I didn't because I see some stuff in here. I am so sorry. I completely forgot. Um... Oh, my goodness. All right, Patricia. Dollar Tree Hall. Hey, Granny, found these at Dollar Tree yesterday. So glad as I will use these for doctor visits. Hope you and Ellie are having a good day. Blessings, Pat. Ooh. I have that butterfly. I know I don't have that one. <gasps> Do I have that one? Oh, I don't think I have that one. I am so jealous. Why doesn't my dollar store have this? Let me look. Mm. Let's bring this back up. What did you get? Yeah, I have the butterfly. I have that one. But I don't have the other two. Jealous. Now well, I'm gonna have to go to the dollar store down here and see. Yeah, Tita's on dollar store. They had a bunch of new ones in, but Mine doesn't. Uh, Lori Henhouse. Hi, Granny. Just to let you know that I finished the hen house this morning. It was from Timu, a 35 by 35 round. Turned out pretty cute. Give Ellie a hug. Have a wonderful day. Oh, look at that. That is cute. The hen house. And what are your hen's names? <laughs> I do see you in there, Lori. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I 
Oh, did we put that in our, our book? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move that. This painting is just small enough. I can move it right over there. All right, let's see here. Actually, I'm going to move that. All right, in-house. I know, what a mess, huh? Actually... All right, I put you in the village add-ons. All right. Teresa finished. Uh, sorry about the streaks, but I wanted to get the vivid colors. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is beautiful. It almost looks like the cat is sitting there, you know, having the portrait taken. All right, Lori, Sunday finish. Kind of all over the place. Can't wait, wait to see the beautiful state. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. You're all over the place. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's Candace. I know yours now. Hi, Granny. This is Candace. Great Escape was... On the page for my cabin it got finished so everyone can come and have Thanksgiving dinner oh yeah 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 enjoy the pies and yes Ellie can have some turkey enough food and good company as we enjoy our family with granny hugs okay yeah I love that great escape um, all right Candace. Now, is your great escape the one on Holiday Lane? I think so. Yay for me. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love that great escape. All right. I will answer your emails today. I apologize. I don't know what happened. I probably got distracted. That's what happened, which is easy for me to do.
put on my dollar store readers and I'm gonna check in um, Beth from Beth's bookish reviews um, I thought I had the Mountain Keep Castle but I have a DAC called Mountain Castle. Boo-hoo. And speaking of Chuck Pinson, have you seen Almost Heaven? Yes, I did see that. Um, in fact, he talked about that in one of those interviews um, over on Mindy's page. Yeah, I was watching that. I think I'm on my last interview. I think she did four. And I'm slowly making my way through them. Uh, Diamond Paint with Mike. Hello, Linda. That means I've been appointed your Diamond Painting Son. Yep, you're in the book, Mike. I like your owl cover minders and flowers. Love the partridge in a pear tree. One of my favorites. Your clock played today. Oh, I forgot to set my clock out. Thanks for reminding me, Mike. Let's get that out here by the light. So when it takes off, we can hear it. Yeah, I got to remember to do that. Um, this is on the Mountain Keep Castle from Anita. Uh, beautiful. I have to have it. I just ordered this one. Okay. Anita. Let's see if you're on the have to have it. Anita. Oh, Anita. Oh, the other Anita is. And now we need to put you on here. Anita M. All right. You've been added to that club. Do you have to go outside, Ellie? All right, one moment. All right, I'm going to just put you on pause. And for some reason, she has to go outside. All right, I made it back. For you guys, it was a second. For me... It was like um, 15 minutes. <laughs> I took her outside. She had to go potty. And, okay, what's going on here? Let's go back. I was answering comments. Um, okay, um, let's see. January says, Granny, 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 how many times have I told you over the last year and a half, your videos are never too long. Sometimes they are not long enough, hence the tea time with Granny, LOL. Great chat, my Granny Doodle Bugaboo. Yeah, and so, yeah, send me topics you want me to jibber-jabber about um, on tea time. Give me some ideas. I need to know what you want to hear. Listen to ask. What are those burning questions you always wanted to ask Granny? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I just saw January is uh, responding here as I'm going through. Okay, to Beth's thing on the mountain keep castle January said to Beth I absolutely adore the almost heaven it's been on my wish list forever and then Beth said January I actually ordered it earlier this year and was going to start it but alas I do not think I am going to get it done before the year runs out my next project will be Dancing Girl. Yeah. Dancing Girl will take you a while if it's the same one I had. <laughs> 
but well worth it. She is beautiful. Okay, um, Anita on the Mountain Keep Castle, she said, beautiful, I have to have it. I just ordered this one. I think I read that one and put her on the list. Um, Constance says, no, the whipping chats are not too long. I could watch you for hours. Oh, you don't want to be with Granny for hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sure I would get on your nerves. Uh, the time just goes by too fast. I diamond paint while watching and listening to you. Can't get enough of Granny, LOL. You know, and I feel that way about uh, people that I watch. It's like, oh my gosh, an hour has gone by. I mean, the longer, the better. I get more diamond painting done because, um, you know, I just, I could just listen and listen and listen and sit here and, and, uh, talk to the screen while they're chatting. Um, easy sheet music. I'm going to look into those Samsung watches like yours. My phone is Samsung and I like gadgets. I have scales that automatically send my weight to my phone and make a graph out of it. So put me in your health club, even though I have rheumatoid arthritis. Sorry, I can't say that word. Um, as well as balance problems and just walk up and down the hall using my walker. Getting old has disadvantages, but at least I don't have to go to work anymore. And I'm thankful every day for that. <laughs> <laughs> Give Ellie a hug from me, uh, Leslie, um, from British Columbia. Um, yes, um, the advantages and disadvantages of getting old. Ah, healthy club. And this is Leslie. Leslie, lucky number 12. And then I'm going to put easy sheet. Even, and I, I, and I have said this before, even though we take an extra 10 steps in a day, hey, we did something more than we did yesterday. And, and there's some days we do less, um, you know, we just, we just can't do it, but I, yeah, and I know people have health issues and whatnot, and for me, um, I'm, it's, it's going to be a battle. I can tell it already, losing weight, because I lost three pounds, I gained two pounds. I lost four pounds, I don't even want to get on the scale today to see if I gained it back. Why did I gain it back? I'm not <clears throat> snacking as much, I'm you know, trying to be a little bit more active each day, but yeah, but you know what? Small steps. Um, so you guys keep me posted on that. Um, or maybe you have some ideas of what motivates you to, you know, get up off the couch or, um, and I know a lot of people aren't real mo mobile. Um, maybe, you know, just raising your leg you know and doing leg exercise while you sleep or while you sleep uh while you're sitting <laughs> um you know maybe that'll help you have to invent stuff uh let's see c l s i e said, where do you get your wax melts? I'd love to get some. I got mine from my diamond daughter, Rebecca. Where she gets them, I have no idea. Because uh, she has quite the stash. <laughs> I am jealous of her. But I've got, she sent me a big, huge box full. Believe me, I am enjoying every one. All my other wax melts that I got from Hobby Lobby, Walmart, um, 
I think that's the only place I buy them. Um, and then, yeah, Hobby Lobby, every other week you can get them 40% off on the wax melts. But I'll tell you, I haven't bought any wax melts for months because... And there's our music for the hour. Um, yeah, I haven't bought since she sent me those. She sent me one supply. <laughs> and I think she saw how much I enjoyed them that she sent me this huge box. And oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, if only you could smell my little space here. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, especially when you go outside and then you come back in, it's like, ooh, I like that. <laughs> and I put mine under um, a lamp. I have a wax lamp. And, uh, yeah. So, I have my little lamp. And I'm going to try to carefully show you this. And this, I actually got at the dollar store. And it has, please don't spill. Please don't spill. And that's hot. On this side, it, oh, you can't see it. And I don't want to spill this. Careful. Oh, you can't see it. Um, this is actually meant ah, for... Um, an opening to put a tea candle underneath it and and uh, melt the wax. But um, Ross over at Smells Like Yarn, he got one of these um, lamps. And you can put either a um, regular candle underneath it or the wax melts. And um, yeah, but I've got so many to go through oh my goodness and i love them every one of them um okay um terry on the uh mountain keep said that's beautiful huge but kind of dark something about it reminds me of dark shadows if you remember the old tv show looking forward to seeing it sparkle you know and that mountain keep it does but i think once we get the drills down it's going to be one of those that just pops and sizzles and sparkles okay um okay uh Angela M. I was about the baby. Oh, yes, yes, Angela. Now I remember. Oh, the light bulb just went off. I am so sorry. Yes. Um, she was, her grandbaby was born about two months early and um, only weighed in at three pounds something. And so I says, well, you know, keep us updated what's going on. And she did in the comments. And I just couldn't remember. What? Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, and I apologize. Okay. Note to self. You know, I have to have notes. All right. So I'm going to put this here. Um, Angela. Yeah, does he have a name yet? Um, preemie baby. Okay, got it down, so I will not forget. If I don't write things down, 
it goes out of my brain. And I do apologize, you guys, for anything that I forget. I should be a better friend and remember all this stuff. But I don't know. My brain does not retain stuff, I guess. Um... Oh, I haven't, I don't think I've heard from you in a while. If you're the one I, are you the one that's in Hawaii? Maybe not. O-L-H-A-K-O-N-O-B-E-V-S-K-A. -E um, on the mountain. Keep beautiful colors and lovely scene. It will be stunning with thrills on it. Yep, I think you're right. Uh, Patricia. Hi, Granny Pat here. No, your whips and chat time is not too long. No, not boring. Having a great time. Thanks and blessings, Pat. And then Easy says, I don't think it's too long either. Time flies when laying down drills and listening to Granny's gab session. <laughs> uh, Julie! Oh my gosh, Julie! We haven't heard from you in a long time. Uh, Mindy's diamond moment. She is good too. She had Chuck Pinson on her life for a check along before. Yeah, she's, I think she's had four interviews with him. They are great. I mean, you learn so much about the artist. I wish more artists did that. Um, like Nikki Bomi. I can't find anything on her. Nothing. And I love her work. Oh, yeah along with Chuck. Um, so my favorite artist right now, Nikki Bomi and who is this? There's somebody, I'm looking at my list because you know me, I can't remember names. Um, oh, Robert Finale. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like some of his work. And I have three of his, I think. Um, and then, oh, I got four of his. That Mountain Keep is one of his. Um, and then I like Chuck Pinson. I do like some of Abraham Hunter. Um... Yeah, uh, but, okay, um, Margie said on the mountain keep, absolutely beautiful, love the castle, I have been looking at that one, yeah, it is, it, it's just gorgeous, um, Denise Hudson, hi granny, really, Pretty. Love the purples and blues. Thanks for the video and showing the drills. And you did a great job putting them back in the bag. <laughs> oh, I do struggle. Uh, Patricia. Hi, Granny. I like what I like in... I like what I like in the paintings. It doesn't matter which one. Budget-friendly are the... Or the expensive ones. If I love them, I love them. Please don't care what others think. You're doing the painting, not them. You know, you are absolutely right. Um, we all have our preferences on canvases. And as you can tell, I like the premium. I like the budget friendlies. And I like the in-betweens. And we're here to do what makes us happy. Do more of what makes you happy. Uh, Diamonds and Things says, I love the canvas. I have this one on my wish list. Maybe my next order will be this. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm glad so many other people like that too. It is, I just have so many 
wonderful canvases. I am blessed to have the stash that I do. And it's always... It's always difficult to pick out a new canvas because they're all so great. Ellie, we are not going back out. Okay, let's see. I'm on. I got to put my mat down because I'm venturing on with the bees. I'm going to put you on hold just one, for just one minute. I got to put my laundry in the dryer. Okay, made it back. Put the sheets or the clothes in the dryer and I got the sheets in the wash. Yeah, you get to spend the day with me doing my household duties. think John has a new video over in horse guards I don't know um, his last few videos I've just felt either he's getting bored with me in there or I don't know it just Something's off. I know that he gets upset with rule breakers. <laughs> and then so many people there. It's like tourist season at a horse guard never ends. But I have watched other people that have recorded and it seems like later in the day after the palace changes and whatnot they have a flood of people that come over and then it's like it thins out in the afternoon a little bit from what I've watched of a few other people that record there. But yeah, so I don't know. I And reading between the lines and little things that he says, I don't think he's getting as much info as he did before <laughs> on stuff. So, yeah. But I think, um, did I finish that? No, I got, uh, no, I think I'm done with the check interviews. I may go back and watch her unboxings of the pensions that she's, Mindy's got. Um, I did kind of sort of watch one that she did four years ago, and it was a pension, but it was from Dreamer. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of all this stuff, and that is before my time of buying premium canvases and before I knew about Chuck Pinson, all that stuff, but... <clears throat> Yeah, for some reason, he, um, was with Dreamer and then switched over to, uh, Diamond Art Club. So, I don't know what all that was about. And he, in his interviews, because she asked him about it. And he, he really didn't answer her. So, it could be that 
Dreamer offered a better contract, but wanted exclusive from him because I don't believe that. And once again, just reading between the lines because, you know, I'm not an expert on this and I don't research it or anything, but. Um, it was said that those, and I don't know how many he had with Dreamer. I, I have no clue. Uh, but <clears throat> you can't buy them from Dreamer anymore. However, they may have went, those canvases may have went over to Diamond Art Club. I don't know. It was very confusing to me and just really was not worth my time to worry about it. Um, it's just, oh, wow. Well, that, that was way before my time, and I do not keep up on the gossip on all these companies and what's going on. And, I mean, that's between the companies and between the artists. Us as diamond painters, I don't think we need to get involved in any of that. That's not, we don't run the company, so. So that's that on that. And that's all I have to say on that. <laughs> yeah, the sun is out now. All right. Did I get all the bees on that part? I might have to go upside down on this one. I'm getting pretty good on upside down. I might be able... Actually, I can probably go... A bit farther up because I can move this canvas down because it's so small. All right, there's a bee there. So I can take it right... Ooh, there's a bunch of bees right there. I didn't see those. I'll take it right about here. Yeah, I lay my mat fully down on these so I don't have to lay my arm down because, yeah, I rest my arm on the canvas. So, put my mat down. I can put my arm down. Let's see. Have I watched any other YouTube? You know, I don't think I have because I've been trying to catch up on Pinson. I'm just really glad I watched those interviews. And the pensons I have, I don't know if I told you which pensons I have. Uh, let's see, Diamond Art Club in my little book here. I, I think I did tell you that. Red Covered Bridge, Seize the Day, The Governor's Party, Strength Along the Journey, um, Cottage by the Sea, and Honey Drip Farms. So, yeah, those are... Um, what I have and I'm there's two other ones I think I told you that I'm on the fence about but I would like to have them however sale time is coming up And if I don't get in gear and get some of these done, what I should do for every big canvas that I do, I can buy one <laughs> to replace it. <laughs> oh dear. There's been too many good sales lately. So, 
sometimes when you have the opportunity to purchase something on sale, you just, you got to seize it. Got to do it. I think I'm going to have to open up the door. It's getting warm in here. <laughs> I'm going to have to take off my sweatshirt. It's cold outside, though, but it's warm in here. And boy, that sun coming through. Yeah, it really warms up the place. I have the drapes open all the way, capturing, capturing all that free heat. I like having the drapes open. I like looking out. Been able to enjoy that beautiful scenery out there. Even if it's the same scene as yesterday, it, it doesn't matter. It's beautiful to me. I love living in the rural part of the city. Well, I'm outside the city limits, so, but even though we have a busy road out here, country road, I mean, it's not like the freeway, but can sit out there and watch you know what's what's in season because there's a lot of farm trucks and uh, whatnot and during August there's a lot of horse trailers that go by and trailers with with uh, you know like cows and stuff and it's kind of Cool to watch them go. Oh, I bet they're going to the fair. Gonna show off their horses or their pigs or cows. I just wish they would stop by here so I could see them first. That'd be cool. One of these days, I am going to go find some place that has horses where you can go see them. I think somebody here should buy Ormond. <laughs> I heard... that you can I don't know I I don't know if this is true or not okay so I'm just telling you a rumor I heard you can adopt a horse at the horse guards and I I think what it is is um, you don't really adopt it but you can put money in and I don't know if that horse gets special treatment or it just for its upkeep and and all that and maybe they send you a newsletter or something about the horse I don't know but oh my gosh they not there's in the horse guards um they have a gift shop and a museum is in there too and you can buy you know all kinds of keepsakes in there but now they have a stuffed or mond toy and John went and found it and he told everybody you know look what I found in the gift shop and he says you know they're 
12 quid or whatever. I don't know how much that is in American money, but 12 pounds or I don't know. Anyway, um, the next day he was recording and he said they sold out. <laughs> So now they have to get another shipment in. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then in yesterday's video, a lady came up to him and said, Are you John? And he said, Yeah. And she goes, I made this for you. Now he didn't show it on camera. I'm hoping that he does today. But she made him some kind of an Armand. Stuffy? I just don't know, but John said, we need to take this to Horse Guards because this is better than the one, or to the museum because this one is better than the one they have. And I don't know if they ship, you know, if you can order things online and that's how they sold out. I don't know. Really weird, but yeah, Ormon got sold out. And apparently, John was saying it's not an exact replica, but kind of. It could be any horse. But, um, yeah. But Ormond is the most famous horse there. <laughs> but they've got some up-and-coming ones. <laughs> but with the new rules, um, that may not happen but poor Ormond I call Ellie Ormond sometimes not because she bites and all that just because Ormond is very protective of the trooper and his face and that's the way Ellie is too with her barking you know hey get out of here you're invading my space even though it's not my space. <laughs> yeah, she's... And like Armand, Armand can be... Act like he's sleeping. He'll be real still. And his eyes look like they're closed. And then somebody will come up and he'll turn on him and just... <laughs> scare him to death. Okay. He's not asleep. He's just pretending. <laughs> that horse has so much personality. And those horses that escaped, I mean, it, it, it it's funny now, but not funny at the time because a couple of them got hurt. But yeah, it's like, let's break out of here and... Go see the streets of London. We want to go running around the streets. One did it, so the other ones followed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish there was... A couple more channels that were like John's where you have running commentary I don't like the ones that are just silent they're just standing there with their camera um, John adds humor to it you kind of know when to look and you know he'll say okay you know it's the Bringing out the new horses, so you know you know to look. You know, okay, I want to see what excitement. Or he'll say, "Oh no, that horse is having a meltdown." So you know to look to watch the horse dancing around and all the people scattering. All right. 
Did I get all the bees there? They're probably screaming at me. No, you missed it there and there. All right, I can move this up, I think, a little bit. Is this the end of the bees? All right, we'll finish the bees and then I'll let you go. You probably fell asleep by now. And then I am... going to watch what am I going to watch I think I think I've already watched this one interview of Chuck's but for some reason it's saying that I didn't watch it but I'll watch it again and then I want to go to the horse guards see what's going on over there and Oh, there's a bee up there. Yep. Did I? No, I didn't. That was the other canvas. All right, let's just double check here. Oh, there's some right there. So, yeah, um, don't forget, give me topics to chat about, jibber jabber about gap about for tea time and our questions or you know whatever just give me some ideas and I'll write those down I'll keep a running list and generally I think the tea times will probably be about 30 minutes maybe who knows it might go on for hours. Um, and then I'm going to see if my son has time. See if I can figure out this live. And then, as always, send your updates uh, or whatever you want for pictures on um, email. And my email's always down below. And comments, all that good stuff that you guys interact with me on because that's what I enjoy. So, with that, look at her eyes. Don't they look funny? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I just noticed it in the camera. Oh my goodness gracious. So, um, yeah, and tomorrow I'll be back at the village building some more on the she shed. I think I'm in the garden working. I uh, can't remember. I haven't gotten very far on that. Uh, let me peek at it real quick. That's right here beside me. Let me put this away. Let me see if I'm still in the garden. What did I do with it? Oh, no. It's way over here. <sighs> yeah, I'm still in the garden. I'm planting. I'm planting flowers. All right. With that, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for gabbing with me and uh, making me smile and laugh today. And I will. It's jibber jabber. Oh, I've got a video this evening. Okay, it'll be late. Alrighty, I will chat with you later and jibber jabber and gab. And I can't find my arrow. There it is. Alrighty. Thanks for stopping by.